damage. So we need to see how the laning phase will go. Last time it went okay for Kirby, he went even in farm. Let's see if Jesus can do more towards this fist pick here. But then going back to Candy Panda and his pick. Quite far behind on Freddy, and Freddy with boots on Renekton will be a force to reckon with. N rated sticking with Jezzers in his mid lane, making sure he's safe. And Jay Ree still only at level four, level five. Kariton actually low here. Candy Panda could go towards him. He's got Sven Skerin coming round now. This is where they're gonna focus on. That's gonna be the ultimate coming out already. Not enough damage done. Kraton goes down first, but easily gifted to Candy Panda. Very, very smart move. Both side lanes are ready because he knows I'm just farming here. And also, if Svenskan joins in, it's even more physical damage where the chain vest will help. What I will say though is something we talked about heavily in the pregame to this show is that SK struggling lanes. They're winning their 2,000 gold up in the lane phase. This is bad, bad news for Millennium as Kraton gets caught out once again. That ultimate from Candy Panda. One hit's enough. And now Jerry's in trouble. He could make it a double here. The death sentence is available if he wants to go for it. There's the play. Will he go for the final finisher? No, the tower's enough to keep him away. So man, really well. All starts from the lane swapped early, where Millennium put a lot of members in the mid lane to try a gank, or to try counter gank. It was actually onto SK where Candy Panda was just farming the bottom lane by himself and Freddy was fa farming the top lane. Now Jesus actually taking some damage. Chum the Waters goes down, but Kerb takes a lot of tower damage. He knows it's going to be enough, and Jesus gets the kill. Wow, a little bit too aggressive here from Kerb into the tower as well. Connects down his bottom lane though. It's a 3v2, but Kraton's already taken a lot of damage. Solo Flare does not land. Candy Panda now, he's got Colonel up his backside and Rage is in trouble. He's going to go down. He's not going to be able to skate this one. Kraton will pick up the kill. Wow. Candy Panda though, in a one-on-one, -on -one, takes down Kotnex. So in Rated, he actually gave the land to the teams, but with Candy Panda so far ahead in build, I feel, of course, the fact that he is 3-0 up one of the ones to watch. Freddy though, he's got problems in this top lane. He's already gone aggressive on Kevin. Kevin's just baited him in. Yeah, now gone. Freddy knows it. The moment Kevin turned around, he knew he was in trouble. Dominus is running. Is he going to be able to pick up anything from this one? I don't think he will. That will be a simple kill. 2v1, pulling him down. But look at this. SK making full advantage. Jungler in the top lane. Thank you yep. very much. We'll have a dragon. Jungler and even support for Shot caller for SK Gaming. He'd be the one that just says, I'm going to hold them out here as long as possible. Get that dragon now. They're all coming in towards me. But now look at this top lane. Jez is going aggressive on towards Kevin. Counter Strike's running. Jay's going to finish off. He can chase with Rift Ward. There it is. Instant kill. Use the flash to get on towards it, though. And that may put Jez in trouble. Jerry's going to lock him up. But now he can turn this one back around. Force Pulse does not do a great deal of damage. He's on rank one. Onto Jerry. But now he's going to continue on towards him. They've got vision at the top. He can continue chasing him that top lane. Kurt now in trouble. Freddy and Svenska are coming in. They lock him up. Chum the Waters goes down. He will catch on both of them. He tries to play for Trickster away, but where's he going to go? In that top lane, you can Jesse's see Jesus continues. Him. He's going to be onto J. Reed. <laughs> gets himself one. He can wow. just go around. He can get his third, fourth kill of the game as he comes around. Kerb so low. I think Freddy wants it. Wow. And he gives it to Jesus. And that's a 4 0 Cassidy in the mid. And in the bottom. And they couldn't ask for a better gold spread, better kill spread nope. with the two carriers, the AD and the mid lane, getting all of those kills so far. They're both seven plus thousand gold apiece, leading anyone on Millennium, of course. SK Gaming regrouping, They're moving in towards Kerb. Kerb's going to be the focus target once again. Chum the Waters comes out, but look at this! Sven Skurin rides the wave straight on through. The Sonic Wave enough to get the kill. Try and go towards it, but SK Gaming nonetheless are going to take themselves another death sentence not landing from N rated. But it's another inner turret. That's 6 2 now for SK. Six towers down here from Millennium side. Only picked up two by himself. Now Connex waiting in his jungle here. One try and set something up. Jerry's still on award. He's still on award. They know exactly he's oh, there. Okay. Instead, Kevin just walks straight in towards it. Counter Strike will be enough to stop them. Solar Flare goes down. Jerry already dead. Now Freddy goes in towards them as well. Onto Connex. Connex goes down. And Rated gets himself another. And they are just motoring through the Millennium defensive front line now. Jezza's all over. Kurt throws out. Didn't even get a chance to do jump the waters. He was off cooldown. And it's a double for the support and Rated. Freddy, they're going to go for him, but I don't think they're going to get either. Kerb taken very low. Solar Flare coming out, but look at this. Candy Panda's now here. He's going to turn Gang back onto Kerb. More. Kerb in all sorts of trouble. He's going to try and slide across, but instead just goes point blank into it. Now Jay Reed's in trouble. They tried the hardest to gank down, then raise the support, but it's just another kill for Jezzers. And it's not over yet. Sven's going to see he can jump over to the ward and go for the kick on Kraton. Pouncing in there. He's not going to land the kick. The Sonic Wave does go in. No, he doesn't catch it. Doesn't matter. Jezzers has got enough damage. 
damage. He's got five and zero four. He can go in towards it. Can Panda meanwhile finds Connex down the bottom, gets himself a kill. It's a massacre for SK. This has turned into a solo. So many options. Well, we, we, like, yeah, just give it to me. We all okay. thought maybe he was nuts, and everybody at home has been yeah. in the draft and went for Jez as the first pick. Maybe thought the same, but oh. it has been fantastic. The Potential trap. setup, but look oh. at that. That's the bonus that Candy Panda has. Chum the Waters comes in. It actually caught on Candy Panda. Voice Man's going to step in now. I don't know. Freddy can come on through. Slice and Dice does get the stun onto Jerry. That's a dead support, and he's going to go down. Jez will pick himself up yet another. Kirk's trying to stick around the, the side. Lane. Already used to Chum the Waters. They don't care. They're going to push on through. There's nobody to defend right now they're going to follow on towards the super minions chasing the millennium into the base look at this coming from behind it's going to be curb and connex but i don't think they've got enough one nexus two it goes down the second follows and now on towards the nexus they quickly turn around the hook oh. on connex they just explode the sub jungler and that's going to be everybody from millennium quivering on their fountain as sk gaming once again in 25 minutes destroy millennium